Welcome back my fellow gamers and other forms of virgin. Today I am here to teach you. So in the past I've showed you how to start on YouTube, how to start on Twitch, but I haven't showed you how to actually become successful and popular on both platforms. Today I'm here to show you the tips that no one else will show you on how to grow on YouTube and how you're going to get popular. Alright, cut the bullshit. First tip is to keep a simplistic look for thumbnails. You might be thinking, well, Jacob, your thumbnails are fucking crazy. You got all these sorts of shit. Yes, I know, but that's just because it's fun for me. And it all depends on what type of videos you're doing. If you're doing vlogs, a good simplistic look that just looks clean and not too much and something that people want to click on, that can be your go-to. As long as your thumbnails aren't crowded with a bunch of stuff, you have to figure out what you actually want in there and just how to keep a good balance. Snappy intros to grab attention. You don't want to be sitting here and your video just fades and opens. You're like, hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to lose your virginity in two steps. That's not entertaining. No one's going to keep on watching unless they're very desperate. You want an intro that has energy, grabs their attention, and makes them watch for the rest of the video. And now it's about the length of the videos. Size does matter. It's good to keep your videos around 10 to 20 minutes, especially because watch time is important. Uh, I fail to do this a lot uh, because I end up recording longer recordings and go hardcore in editing and just cut a lot out and make it shorter. But a good length to keep your videos is around 10 to 20 minutes. It's not too long. Um, but you can get some watch time from it and YouTube also favors longer videos anyways like 10 to 20 minutes And if you already are getting ads, uh, you get mid rolls past 10 minutes So you get more money if your videos are uh, past 10 minutes long if you didn't already know that I'm sure everyone already knows that I mean I don't even have ads and I know that another tip is to keep the suspension until the end you don't want them to feel like they got what the purpose of your video was in like three minutes if you don't know what I mean like say like you make a vlog titled look what we found or whatever and then three minutes in out of your 20 minute vlog you show them the crazy thing maybe if you have a very entertaining rest of the video they'll stick around and watch it, but sometimes people just want answers and once they get those answers they're out of there so keep your suspension until the end make sure people want to watch the entire thing because the more they watch of your videos the more likely they will be able to subscribe and the more watch time you get and that means uh, the closer you are to getting ads this next thing is a big thing that a lot of people overlook and I even do myself sometimes. Make your thumbnails mobile friendly. If you don't know what I mean, don't have like small text in a corner while you're editing in Photoshop and you're like, oh, well, I can easily see that. We're fine. No, that's not how it works. I'm sure there's an actual percentage, but most of YouTube's audience is on mobile and they see stuff a lot smaller, especially thumbnails. So you're going to want to make sure that they can read your thumbnail how it was intended. Whatever you're editing your thumbnail in, Photoshop, whatever, just make sure to just zoom out, take a look out, and see what your thumbnail looks like zoomed out. And readjust, move some things, make sure they all fit, and you can see them well. This is one thing a lot of people don't do reinvest into your channel if you're like me and you get companies to send you money to review their products or if you make ads off stuff or whatever then like when you get though when you get that money you don't just want to go blow it on a fucking gucci t-shirt like hey look i'm rich you want to reinvest into your channel like I do this constantly. I have almost around 2,000 subscribers and I have spent almost all of my money on my setup. I made sure I had the best PC I could possibly get for recording and editing. I made sure that I have a microphone that sounds good as hell. I put the rest of my money into this microphone and every time something goes wrong in my setup, I replace it because my top priority is making videos. I recommend spending money on the things that they'll notice so your setup kind of looks a lot better than it is. Like, you can have a shitty computer, a shitty monitor, a shitty keyboard, shitty everything. Um, but as long as you just use your phone and get a good microphone, your videos will look just as good than they would if you had like a fucking $5,000 computer, best keyboard monitor, you know what I mean. So reinvest into your channel and be smart about it. This one's kind of a given, but a lot of people also don't do it, and it's to make every video better than your last. When you're not recording, try to figure out new editing styles. If you see an editing style that you like and you don't know how to do it, search how to edit like that. And if they're a famous YouTuber, there's probably tutorials on how to edit just like them. And just make sure every video feels better and different than the last. Maybe if you have more energy, better editing, whatever, better ideas. 
just uh every time you upload a video you want to be able to look at that video and say damn that is the best video i have ever made oh yes of course we can't do this all the time i try to do this all the time but some sometimes you can't it, do, it doesn't always happen but you know just try to go for it the last two kind of tie together and it's just be a good person on youtube don't be an asshole like I, I i don't know i don't really think there's much to say about that but just just don't be a dick you know don't be fucking be that dude that no one likes anyways guys that's about all i have for you if you enjoyed this video or if it helped you in any way make sure to drop a subscription and a like on this video that would mean a lot and turn on the bell notifications but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed if you haven't already subscribe to my channel for more content like this and besides that i will see you in my next video bye